Hey guys, I'm Phil. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to step-by-step -step take your IBT files from iRacing and import them directly onto the VRS app. If you get a coaching session from us, you're gonna receive access to a drive folder with a lot of files in it. One of those files will be the IBT file from the coach. So basically, you're gonna be able to import that file onto your own VRS account, and then you can compare your lap versus the coach's lap. This ensures that you can actually improve even though the session is over. And this is really key that every time you go on the simulator, you get something to work on and you can continuously improve. So let's jump on a sim and get started. All right, so step one is gonna to be to install the VRS app if uh, you don't have it already installed on your computer. So what we will do is you're gonna to go to virtualracingschool.appspot.com. Once you're in the home page, you're gonna see this button right here that says download. So you can just click on it and it will um, download the VRS software. Once that done, you can install the software on your computer. You just have to follow the prompts um, as you install every other app on your computer. So once this step is done, in the same home page of the virtual racing school, you're gonna create an account. So you're gonna click on your account guest and then log in, log out. So once you land on the VRS login page, you have the option here uh, to sign up if you don't have an account already. And if you do, you can enter your email and your password and then click login. So once you logged in, you can actually see right below your account, your name's gonna be written there. So that's the key um, to know if you're correctly logged in. So the next step is gonna be to connect your VRS app to the website. So what we'll do, you can go into your search bar and tap Virtual Racing School Telemetry Logger. This is the software that we've just installed. Once it's open, you're gonna have a prompt like this, open token registration. Basically, you just have to click on next and automatically it'll connect to your Virtual Racing School account if you're already logged in, which is what we did. So we can click on back to VRS to go back to the home page. Now that VRS is all set up, we're gonna go and download the IBT file from the drive folder. If you get a coaching session with us, you're gonna receive this link to access to your drive folder. Once you're in the drive folder, um, you can see here we have two IBT files, so we can download both of them. So just uh, shift click, click on both, and then click on download right here. So once you downloaded the files, what I want you to do is go back to the VRS app once the app is open, you're gonna see the extra tab right over here. You click on it, and then you'll see the upload existing IBT files to VRS. So what we're gonna do is click on browse, and then you're gonna find your IBT file from, uh, from the download section. Usually it appears in the download. If it's somewhere else, just um, pick it up. You can click on it, as I see right here, IBT file, and you can open it. So now you'll see it'll say the files you selected have been queued and they're actually gonna pop up right over here. So this says that we're gonna put the file onto your VRS account. So we can close this window now, we don't need it anymore. It's only gonna minimize the app, so it's still gonna upload the files, don't worry about this. So now that the files have been uploaded to your VRS, we're gonna go into the VRS website. We're gonna click on driving stats and right here, you'll see all the, the iRacing session that you've done. So for example, I'm gonna take the Road Atlanta with the Ferrari. So I'm gonna click on the blue arrow here to go into the sessions. And now you'll see uh, every single session that you've done. So for me, I've only done one, but if you've done like 10 sessions, they're all gonna be um, separate in that uh, section of the website. I'm gonna choose this session. So I'll click on the blue arrow once again. And then as you can see, I have all my laps, all my stints, they're all separate. You can see all the lap times, the track and the air tam, the fuel used. So then once that's done, we wanna click on the track arrow here. Like the, the purple lap is my fastest lap of this stint or this session, I should say. So I'm gonna click on the track right here to be able to compare. So this is gonna bring us to the um, telemetry page from VRS. First thing I want you to do, click on laps and click the plus button at the top right. 
Once that's done, you're gonna have two different um, laps, the target and the comparison lap. Usually, I put the target lap uh, as myself and the comparison lap as the lap that I need to, to beat. So if you got a coaching session from us, the IBT file that we've just uploaded is gonna be uploaded on your account. So don't try to find um, your teammate or coach in here, you just have to click me. And then in the select a session, you should see the lap time of, that the coach did. So if you have multiple ones, just look at the lap times. Um, for example, I did it 18.3, so I can click on this one, and then you can select a lap and use fastest lap that's right here. So now I have two identical laps, so I'm just gonna take a random lap so I can, uh, can show you the differences. So I'll take this lap, for example. So then once this is done, we can re-click on the laps to close that window. And as you can see on the top left, you're gonna see the, the delta from both of these laps. So I have only like um, almost two tenths lost. And it's separated in each and every single corner or part of the track. So here it's like turn two to turn four. So with that, you can actually see where you lose time, where you gain time, uh, where you need to put more effort. It's a good way to, uh, to practice and you know, have some goals in every single session. You check a little bit of telemetry and then you go back on track and try to get better in those areas that you struggle. I'm not gonna go too much in details about how we look at, at the telemetry and stuff. This is gonna be for another video. But this one was really um, to make sure that you can upload the files on your own and that you have access to them. So one important thing that I forgot to tell you when you're in cockpit view in iRacing, make sure that you see the telemetry icon right here. For me, it's at the bottom right, but by default, it can be anywhere on the screen. So that, what that does is it's actually gonna put the telemetry file on the uh, folder from iRacing, and then VRS is gonna import it automatically through the website. If you don't see that icon, you need to press the shortcut Alt and L. Let me click here. Alt and hell and you can see it's turning off and on. Okay, you make sure that it's on because otherwise you won't see your data and you won't see anything in VRS. So this is it for me. We'll see you in the next video.